Good day everyone. I am back here at Knott's Berry Farm to do another Knott's Scary Farm update. Since our last visit, we've had returning mazes announced and today we've had the returning scare zones announced. So it's pretty exciting. Time is flying, so Halloween will be here in no time. And with that, let's get right into the video. So I just got off Ghost Rider and I guess a new thing they're doing is making you take off your sunglasses or regular glasses which I haven't had to do before because I would assume glasses fell off on the ride and it became a hazard. It is what it is unfortunately so <laughs> these are prescription sunglasses so it's kind of hard to see without them. There was no facade work being done over at Ghost Rider 3. I couldn't really make out if there was any work being done over at Mystery Lodge with the finale and inside the maze. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it is what it is. If you look closely you can see some Mystery Lodge construction. The Mariner now has a shark friend out front of the maze. The walls still look pretty ugly right now, but they added the rigging for the witch's flight in the finale of the maze. Oh, this is such a good maze. Here is Mesmer. Sideshow of the mind. Right back here is where the swinging pendulum is. Let's see if we can see anything inside. That was the pendulum room. So that will do it for me here at Knott's Berry Farm. There is a lot of Knott's Scary Farm construction happening. Uh, we got some new vantage points for the new maze over at Mystery Lodge. Not much has been done over at Mesmer and Origins. Um, now has the rigging for the witch. So I think that is a successful trip. Hopefully they can let me wear my sunglasses the next time on Ghost Rider to see if any work is being done inside of Mystery Lodge and Ghost Rider 3. So with that, Midsummer Scream is this weekend. I might get one more Halloween Horror Nights update in. Before then, 